Okay, audience, this is our reaction to the presidential address. We're going to get started. I'm going to share my screen and let the fun begin. And Marlon is just so excited. You can tell. So right now the cabinet is coming. And pretty soon, I think they'll do the vice president. No, she's already in the um, podium. So they yeah. won't do her, they'll just skip. Her and Pelosi standing up there acting like they like each other. <laughs> We're gonna uh, have so much fun tonight, Joe everybody. Man Joe Manchin and Mitt Romney shucking it up with each other. And there was a question that was asked. Um, what happened? I thought I wasn't recording for some reason. Oh, I said it was recording. There was a question that was asked. Give it to give it a chance, but to make a president, who would you choose, Joe Manchin or Mitt Romney? Who did they pick? It was just a this was just a hypothetical question. You're asking me. Yeah, and the audience. Who are we, who are we picking between? Joe Manchin and Mitt Romney. I had to go with Romney. Yep, so would I. Thank you. I, I, I think I'd go with Romney. Romney is a Republican, and I get that. But at the very least, I understand that Romney is old school Republican, which means, hey, he ain't going out of his way to destroy everything. Yeah, Joe Manchin just wants to just... Yeah, Joe Manchin just want to be rich. Yeah, he wants to rich. he wants to be a pest for being a pest state. Yep. Oh, there's that Kirsten uh, Cinema talking. Little uh Christian Cinema cursing down the aisle like she normally do. Like how the but Arizona, they know they need they better do right. Oh no, they're trying to get her out now. <laughs> how you how you try your best to get somebody out and they just started? They want her out now. They well, just, Arizona doesn't have a recall. They are not they a recall. Off right there. There's Kavanaugh. Well, I, I'll I'll be quiet about Kavanaugh. Yeah, like the women he messed with. Yeah, I, I was boy. You must have known just what I was thinking. Because that's who Kavanaugh is known for. But let, let, let's be honest with you. That's who he's known for. Yeah, you're a Supreme Court justice, but we we know you from that, Cav. Come that, on, Cav. Come on. It looks Kav. like a whole bunch of them not there tonight, though. Yeah, I wish somebody explained to me why you have to wear your robes, but. To each his own. We know you're judges. We got it. You know, go. that is something I wonder, like, why do they wear robes? No, I'm just like, why are they wearing robes here? Like, yeah, they're not judging anything. Dude, like, you're, you're just coming to a speech. Yeah, so she's already up there, so she don't get no introduction. Oh. There they go, standing beside each other like they like each other. So cute. Oh, here comes the is. Oh, uh, he thought he would catch you right in the middle of the speech. Cruz, you little son of a. There's your favorite Marlon Lindsay. Yeah, and you will be talking to little um piece of. You know what? You lucky this is your show. You right. You pick the right. You pick the right. <laughs> You picked the right venue. You You're right. We can barely see you, Theus. What really? You. It looked like you just a uh, a uh, a spot. Really? I see me. Um, okay, Joe Biden. Now come on in here. I got my drink ready. Hey, is this better? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got it ready. I'm ready to go. Y'all remember what the four words are, right? You can't see mine. There we go. I got mine. Okay. Y'all remember what the four words are, right? Um, no, but I can promise you I'll probably be drinking anyway. Pretty much. Um, thing is, we haven't even started. <laughs> sure you, want want, you want us to watch this stuff? Let yeah. us drink. Some random people in there. Okay, so, so what you have missed so far is you got uh, Harris, 
and Pelosi already on the stand, acting like they like each other. Uh, you got the Creep Squad of Cruz and um, Lindsey Graham chucking it up with each other. Um, probably giving, you know... fake period, you know? You know but probably, it looks like a lot of people are missing. There are. I we wonder if they... Put it past a lot of the um, House Republicans to have just decided not to come. Yeah, good thing um, Tater Green isn't coming with. Well, well remember should... I said that one you can go in without a mask, but you have to be tested. So she probably going to use the whole I'm not going to be tested to go watch him. I'm in a free America. I think he's going to come. I think he's going to come. Kumbaya stuff. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure Trump is giving them the clear impression that, you know, he's not the real president and all that stuff. They came to the first one. Yeah, but Trump is acting out right now. Colin Putin smart. You, it, oh, yeah, Biden. Well, I mean, well, the highlight in. from CPAC was really good. People are really attacking him for calling Putin smart, but I think that's because everybody really doesn't like Trump. The fact of the matter is Putin is smart. He's just evil. That, that was the, and I was saying that it, it wasn't that he what he was saying was smart, but then he kept going on like our leaders like, are like stupid. How he does himself. That's yeah, he smart. Is the greatest yeah, person in the world. That. And blah blah blah. And that's what messed. The, that's what pissed everybody off. Okay, I think we about to see Biden come down finally. Goodness, it's been like three minutes. On crazy. Their feet. Y'all dang on time. It's been like five minutes. I've been watching this for 20. Why? Don't know. I wanted to get my taping just right. Oh, see, look, they got the little Ukraine flags and stickers. Oh, yeah, that's that's big. That's yeah, we're going to be drinking a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, and that's cool. I mean, what's happening is bad, but it, it's like we're ignoring all the other bad stuff. No, this this is the flavor of the week. You got you got to keep up. Yeah, I guess this is what's in right now with the That's, cool this, kids. This this is the end um, tragedy. Yeah, next week we'll have a new one. Yeah, somewhere, somehow, someplace, somewhere, there's a flag maker that's making millions. Who's clapping? Of Who's clapping? Chanting. Okay, man. Look, you don't got to shake hands with everybody. Well, Just Biden talk. does. That's his thing. Biden does. Yeah. And he's not even turning the other way. Oh, okay. I was going to say, turn the other way. You got to remember, Biden really does think he's friends with everybody. And he comes from the old school who that says that you are supposed to go through these rituals. I'll be like, hey, everybody, what's up? Let's do this. Are we be I mean, we are, you know, COVID's still real. And everybody in that chamber, like 90% of them are over 70. That's why I'm like, I ain't touching none of y'all. Thank you. Watch you hug his hug your friend Mitch. Go on there and find him. I mean, can, how many old white men can you get in one area? Well, apparently, how big is the house? It's not even. I would say that's about sixty percent. Sixty, maybe fifty. It's not a whole lot in there because it's a lot of Republicans missing. Oh, you meant just people there? I thought you were talking yeah, I mean, about white people men. just there. You know, people give Biden a hard time about being old, but he does quite well for his age. I, I, I guess I missed the criticism. I don't know. I think it's because he threatened to fight. I got a news flash. Challenge one of his supporters to push up, and we was like, "Nah, dude, you can't." If the only thing that you, if the only thing that you can come up to uh, ridicule uh, Biden about is his age, you don't have much. It's not yeah, like Trump mean, is a spring chicken. Yeah, but he's younger. Oh, we yeah, got Anna coming in. More out of shape than Anna's Biden. Anna's come in. Yay, Anna. 
ain't she? I mean, they, they that woman had full flag covers on. Yeah, I just, you know, I get the solidarity thing, but can we stop bombing Somalia? You weren't you weren't talking about you weren't even Hello. talking about Ukraine before this. Hey. Hey Anna. Madam Speaker. You on mute. How are you all doing? I'm good. We're good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. good. Yeah, thank you very much. Last year, COVID-19 kept us apart. This year, we're finally- I'm a little like she didn't have work done on her neck. It's a bad angle. Literally, that was one sentence. Are you serious? Democrat, <laughs> Republic, and independence, but most importantly, as Americans, with the duty to one another, to America, to the American people, to the Constitution, and an unwavering resolve that freedom will always triumph over tyranny. Yeah, he didn't go for it. not yet. Oh, standing ovation. Standing Stop. ovation. Yeah, but this <laughs> is all for show. Oh, I know the Supreme Court justices aren't supposed to react to anything, but notice they don't stand for freedom. Russia's Vladimir Putin Ooh. shot to shake the very foundation. That's of a the good world. one. Mm -hmm. I think he didn't even make it bend to his menacing ways, but he badly miscalculated. Menacing ways? He's not Lex Luthor. He said Ukraine. Instead, uh, yeah. with a wall, wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. He met the Ukrainian people. He said Ukrainian. I'm, I'm going to have to say now, whoever helps Kamala with her outfits, though, this is a nice one. I like it. <laughs> she looks like Emma. She does. Every Ukrainian. Why are you in two places at one Ukrainian time? again. Well, that's Emma, Emma in the Congress. I, I so am not. <laughs> Everyone from students to retirees to teachers turned soldiers defending their homeland. And in this struggle, President Zelensky said in his well, speech like to the European Parliament, "Open his eyes, open them, Joe. Open got, them. He's probably got a bunch of lights in his face for one." The United States is here tonight, but he always looks like that. Let each of us, if you're able to stand, stand and send an unmistakable signal to the world. To me, it's up, like Adam. he's giving the George stand W. Bush face. Stand up, Adam. <laughs> Wave that flag. Don't do that, Wave. to you, Jump and get him. Get him. <laughs> So they're clapping for her like she is Ukraine. Oh. Like she's gotcha. <laughs> that, that'd be like something happening in an African country and you all turn and clap to me. Like <laughs> you hang in there, Emma. You hang in there now. You fight for Ukraine, Emma. <laughs> but while you're in there, Anna, can you please get us voting rights and universal health care? Can we? Oh, honey, honey, I'd be working on voting rights first. <laughs> he said Ukrainian again. We learned this lesson. When dictators do not pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos. They the check this out. The, cause the State of the Union America. and our number one talking point right now is Putin. Keeps rising. That's why the NATO alliance is everything. Secure peace and stability in Europe. But I mean, like, the United States we're not at war with Russia. Other nations. It matters. American diplomacy matters. So, are we? so shouldn't the State of the Union be more about attack on Ukraine? The Union? Was yeah, like, shouldn't that where you lead off? And then you put Putin in there because it's a big deal. Yep, he started off first yeah. with it. He's biting. Uh, let's just get it out the way. NATO. Democrats in war. Gotta love it. No, they could divide us at home. Of course, it's Republicans true. like to start wars. Democrats divide us in Europe as well. They usually just like to participate. We are ready. We are united, and that's what we do. He said united. United. Oh, we do say united. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we spend wow. This is gonna be gone, gone buddy. I'm just saying, I only got one bottle. I know I've got one bottle. I'm like, this is be enough. Yeah, about 24 cans in there. I know this dude. Like many of you, I spent countless hours unifying your European allies. They just sitting there looking at him like, we shut up. The world in advance, what we knew. Putin was Kamala Harris is like, that should be me giving this speech. Mm -hmm. Kamala always have this, I'm so confused about what you say and look on her face over every speech. 
I don't I blame don't her. her that. Look, that has to be the hardest place where her and Nancy are sitting because the camera's staring at you. So you can't look away. You can't look disinterested. No, nope. you're not doing nothing. <laughs> yep, you just sitting there. <laughs> They're not doing nothing when the camera's off. I would fall asleep if I was sitting there. Campaign on Russia. And Bob, would you not be vice president? <laughs> right? Be fired in the morning. Never been. I'll be under the desk playing Candy Crush. Don't y'all dare stand up. God dang it. Here he goes! <laughs> And you know Kamala has heard this speech like three times already. Oh, times yeah, already. I know. Mm -hmm. So who are the random people in the top? Allies, random, people. Members. Random, random people at the top. People they didn't invite. It. You know they always do that. You know how they always do a DC Randy raffle. Central Bank from defending the Russell ruble, ruble, making Putin's six hundred thirty billion dollar war fund worthless. We're choking Russia's access. We're choking Russia's access to technology that will sap its economic strength and weaken its military for years to come. Tonight, I say to the Russian oligarchs and the corrupt leaders. Uh, by the way, the report is is ten year destruction of the economy. Yeah, because this is gonna even after this goes away, Russia yeah. is still screwed. When your ruble is less than a penny. Justice is assembling a dedicated task force. See, I wouldn't get up there, but like, I wish y'all knew it. Work. See, that and, <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but this is worse than like Catholic mass. Your private jets. Sit, stand, stand, sit, stand, stand, sit, 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 stand. <laughs> do the hustle. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, here we go again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. You did not have bad knees and being there, boy. You feel by this time. So that guy must be a Republican. Yeah, because he ain't stood up not one time. Well, neither the black lady. The Russian stock market has lost 40%. But you know, the black lady is probably saying, I ain't yeah, doing all this sitting down and standing up. He's like, I ain't doing all this. <laughs> I stand up, I'm leaving. Putin alone is the one to blame. Together with our allies. We're providing support to the Ukrainians Ukraine. to fight for freedom. Military assistance. I gotta pace myself. I was just joking about the Kenyans. We're giving more than a billion dollars of direct assistance to Ukraine. Oh, he's did it again, too! As they defend oh. the country and help you. Might as well just get oh, a so we do have money then. Oh, we got plenty of money. But see, the oh. difference is mm. war spending. Sit down, Anna. <laughs> war spending is appropriated. So Domestic late. spending has to be, um, what's the term? And will not engage. They actually have to like but, budget. But the funny thing is, you don't think we'll give the billion dollars to the Ukrainian people and they'll use it to smoke drugs? And our NATO oh, that's what I heard. The Ukrainian people aren't 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 black and brown people. Nope. Oh, oh sorry. Yep, we don't have to build no wall to them. We just build them for brown people. My bad was be, my bad for being fair. Sorry. Yeah, it's built in the assumption that they know how to be more responsible with uh, money. The United States and our allies will defend every inch of territory that is NATO territory for the full force of our collective. Policy. And here we go with the standing ovation. Boy, these is are he some NATO ugly mo part of it or here, not? Boy. He's saying NATO a lot, and that's not even on our list. They so made her stand up. She's okay. busy looking at the phone. Are well, she looked like she can be tight. But hey, lady. Next few days, weeks, and months. He we'll coming out with them it. pistols like yeah, yeah. Violence and chaos. She won't sit her 112 pound butt down. She ain't fighting nobody. She Look, might blow away. She was off. She was a little skinny, blood. skinny though. <clears throat> no, she ain't gonna do nothing but fall on the ground and cry. Fight with every inch of energy they have. They've known 30 years of independence have repeatedly shown that they will not tolerate anyone who tries to take their country backwards. You ever notice how America, <laughs> like the United States. America Sorry. celebrates Sorry. Ukraine Sorry. fighting Sorry. against injustice, around the world. but when we stand up Sorry. against Sorry. injustice, Sorry. we are a problem. Yep, we always have been a problem. Oh, we we even got to go that far. They really thought it was real justice for all them trucks in Canada. Tonight, 
I they took it back to the streets. Uh, sort of what like BLM did, but oh, uh, okay. No oil from reserves Absolutely. And when the police come and break up Black Lives Matters rallies, that's because they were violating the law. Yeah, they sure were. But when the police go and break up the truckers' rally, that's them being like the Gestapo. These steps will help blunt gas prices here. I wonder what's different. I know news about what's happening. Gee, it could be he ain't said nothing, Diaz. I'm like, he ain't said nothing. going to be okay. Then Canada's always said we should invade Canada. And the history of this era is written. That was Candace Owens. Left Russia weaker. He's I like know, me. He's gonna be I'm just now. Chalk it off my bingo card. He getting a peppermint. He like wait. He just checked his pager. I know the pager look. That man still got a pager. <laughs> God, dog. Oh. I had a pager. Is there anybody even doing anything with pagers? Is there a company that actually who makes them? Nobody has. Them. I don't know, but the plan is probably fifty That's cent a month. God, is he alive? It clearly. We doctors still have pagers. I'm gonna check that man's poll. There you go. See, doctors still have pagers. The, the drug dealers gave them up. People are gathering in cities and large crowds around the world. Yeah, because doctors Russia, have them because they're always moving around from you know patient to patient to patient. The battle between democracy well, he... and autocracies. Democracies are rising to the moment, and the world is clearly choosing the side. Open your security. eyes, Joe. This is they the are open. Time. Oh, I mean, open. So let's continue to draw. Pretty much all you gonna get. Yeah, that's the best you are gonna get out of Joe. Look at Nancy's eyes; hers is wide open. Well, that's the facelift. That's a surgery. Yeah, I was about to say that Kamala's eyes are open too. But Botox won't let you blink, but so what? So much, you know. Never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. Look, Kamala's eyes are open too. Kamala look like she's scared of something. Never. What is she so confused and about? And Nancy look like she's hot. Just spit it out. What is it? Is it the speech? Is it the tie? What is it? When did he get onto Iran? Iran the Iranian? He, I don't know. He jumped to Iran for some reason. What did, what did oh, Iran do? I'm sorry. I told you. I don't care. the hardest years so. this nation has ever faced. Pandemic has been punishing. Oh, we're back to America now. Many families are living paycheck yep. to paycheck, struggling to keep up with the rising cost of food, gas, housing, and so much more. I understand, like many of you did. Housing. My dad. So, Joe, you're going to talk about your uh, corporate well, right. you buying up the real estate? So, like many of you, I grew up in a family when the price of food went up, it was felt throughout the family. It had an impact. That's one of the first things I did as president was fight to pass the American Rescue Plan because people were hurting. And then President yeah. Manchin took it back. Few pieces of legislation. I can't stand that guy right there. In our history. To live well, take that flag out of your party. You know you don't know about that country. The nation and combat COVID-19. McCarthy is trash. Ain't no money in it. To tens of millions of Americans. To help put food on the table. Remember those long lines of cars waiting for hours. I think he drank it to build back better. I feel it. Trunk. It cut the cost of health care insurance. And as my dad used to say, it gave the people just a little bit of breathing room. Unlike and then we took it back. And then we took That's it back. You literally is telling us everything that you just took back. The American Rescue Plan. No, but once again, that's not his fault. American Rescue Plan. That's his party's fault. No one yep, that's his fault. That's his party. Congress screwed that up. Like, no, it's not for Congress. <laughs> If not for Congress, I really think Biden's policies would be worth something. <laughs> the Build Back Better plan will put a tremendous amount of income and jobs in this United States. Come on, boo, Especially though. Especially for the boo. simple fact that the majority of it is reusable oh, energy. That we can finally get off fossil fuels. But we ain't got to worry about what Russia doing one way or the other. Because we don't need them no more. Well, I think part of the reason we have to deal with Russia is because this is literally a version of how World War II started. Yeah, yeah. The, the, Look at Mitch McConnell. Go away, Mitch. You make me sick. I'd rather deal with him than McCarthy. Last 40 years, we were told. Nah, oh, really? Uh, I, I'm not going to make this between them two. I mean, they're both evil, but like, Mitch is like a supervillain. Bigger deficits and a wide gap. McCarthy is just 
and everyone else in the sloppy century. Mm. Look, you get people killed for Mr. no reason. Harris and I ran for office, and I realized he we have some reason? disagreements on this, but ran for office with a new economic mm. vision for America. Invest in America. Guys in that Lamborghini ain't gonna pay for America. itself. Say it. Workforce. Come on, Joe. The economy from the bottom up and the middle out, not from the top down, because we know. Why are they clapping for that? It didn't even happen. Sit down. Because I like the fact that I, lo I love the fact that you can always tell a career politician. Because Pelosi has mastered just sitting there with this Kirk stupid Eastern grin on her face. On no matter what's being said. Now, and nobody was being done. But that Trump clap she did his state of the union is still one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. That's why it was so important. What's up, man? Pete Buttigieg. Former ex-racist mayor of South Bend. But you guys don't know this. Well, you know, not to get all off onto the side topics, but I think it's important to differentiate a, a racially obtuse action and racism make it happen he both trust me when i say he both talking about an infrastructure decade say so oh infrastructure oh no yeah. he didn't say infrastructure he has not said build back better yet i just think that the the term racist gets used way too often to the point where it has no value now with the rest of the world, China. Just take a trip up to South Bend. Anytime you're in Indiana, it just ask them. Don't ask me. I just live in Indiana. We'll create good jobs for millions. Look at Ted Cruz looking like I should be full right now. He's like he's so full. But, that, but that's the deal about. But that's the deal about people like Ted Ted Cruz and everything. This is their spotlight right here. I just want to show them so I can have this stupid, unimpressed look on my face, so the cameras can be on me, so I can tell my minions how unimpressed I was. Dude, you could have went with um, you could have went with Bo Bird and went to Red Lobster and used her little car to get you dinner. You ain't even had to be here. He looked like he'd been drinking, and the reason oh, I said why Bird didn't stand up, he can't. <laughs> what? what the heck was that? Whoa. Thousand projects have already been announced. Many of you. I made you president, Biden. Boom. I'm announcing that this year we will start fixing over 65,000 miles of highway and 1,500 bridges in disrepair. And where's the standing ovation? And here it's we go. Tough. Takes him a little while. Knees are tired. Mm. Did we just say everybody over here is over 60? Yeah, they didn't ran out of cartilage. That's they done. They taste themselves. We're going to do it by buying America. Buying American products. And that's where Well, we should have just did the standing ovation because he still hasn't said go back better yet. Oh, you are buying America. Oh, he know better than to say that. <laughs> you buy American products. This just happened to be made in China first. Make sure well, that, you're not American Mom product. Nancy Pelosi got on her face. Girl, you look, you don't do that no more. Why does she have this look like who farted? We're actually, we're actually you got to understand, she's like, America. she made a deal with something to still be here. Hmm. Well, look at her smile. It looks like yeah, no. she's hot. I mean, I don't want to disparage <laughs> the lady, but she's <laughs> exhibiting the signs of someone who is. Uh, I, 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 I got to get away from this. Who? Altered reality going on. I mean, yes, it's it's important that two women are behind them. Yes. We also need a loving plan. And one on past gas. China and other competitors. Unfortunately, <laughs> women are always behind powerful men. Because the men won't let the women step to the front. But hey, yeah, that's now once we get a woman in his position. Well, wait a minute. Not just no any woman, because I don't need a corporate. We don't being a little too picky there, Tracy. I'm going to keep on being picky. Let me give you one example why it's so important. I won't vote for Lauren Bobert. I know that. Oh, goodness, no. You'll find a thousand empty acres. Now she's doing the church shape, going from side to side. I'm telling you, she's, she's not doing well. 
I'm like, Nancy, this ain't church, 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 girl. You don't have to rock back and forth like that. That's right. And then why is she running for re-election? Somebody, come on now. Because, because ain't nobody can beat them. A twenty billion dollar. Got to put on. To, if, if we already discussed this already. You gonna run until you figure a. I'm sick and tired of doing this, and I don't made it on money. Or b. There are probably no chance that I'm gonna win. Ain't nobody beating Pelosi. He's a real one. He's a real one right there. That man is a real. Dude, how big is that woman's head that you got to tilt to the side? To see Maybe. Martin, yeah, she don't move. Sure. The fingertip. That's, that's it's too early to be leaning. He's gonna have a hard time later. Smartphone, technology, oh, is, internet, technology is yet to be invented. That's just the beginning. So he went foreign Until first CEO and then Pat went domestic Gilster. second. That's well, interesting. Where Pat is. Pat well, he knows what everybody's uh, interested in. They got all these Ukrainian flags out here. Wonder why not Somalian flags. Oh, I'm sorry. We're bombing them. My bad. That's a nice dress, Anna. Your investment from twenty billion to one hundred billion. That was oh, the they're sitting a row apart. Okay, I see they doing. And all their way. It's supposed to be this the spacing thing. Let's not wait any yeah, long. they're going after yeah. to my desk. I'll sign it. It will really take off in a big way. And here we go, another standing ovation. I'm gonna drink this to the heck of it now. What is he doing texting now? That's rude. So he's playing a game. Look how he's moving his hand. <laughs> I told you, Candy Crush. This is all they do, though. Remember, um, last the last State of the Union, uh, Ted Cruz pretended to be asleep. So Trump was no. This is Biden first. That first one he made, he, that wasn't the State of the Union. This is the State of the Union. Which one was it? Because it was one of Biden's big speeches, and Trump and he acted like he was asleep. Billion dollars in electric vehicles, creating eleven thousand. Was that Obama? I don't think that was Obama. GM is making. No, that was Biden. I mean, that was Biden. Seven billion dollars to build electric vehicles, creating four thousand jobs in Michigan. Make sure you smile. Three hundred and sixty-nine. She was the one. Shut up. What is she smiling for, though? He's talking about her. She's a congressperson in Michigan. Why are they gonna show the little boy? Now what? Sit down, boy. It's time for you to go to bed. Oh, that's cool. Steve Hawkins was reincarnated. Ain't <laughs> that the dude from um? Generations. Of what was that movie? <laughs> Another professor? I don't know, but he looked like he can, he's a smart little little something. Yeah, that a professor. <laughs> There's Sherman. Sherman. No, that's the guy from the office. Love your movies. It's time. He wore his regular work clothes. That's how you do it. What used to be called a rust belt become y'all wrong, Congress and Nutty for home. Y'all wrong. Significant resurgence. You invited us. That's right. I I tried on my clothes for tomorrow, and I look like somebody stuffed me in somebody else's clothes. Higher wages. Too many families are struggling to keep up with the bill. COVID was not nice to me. You know, it's amazing how you can always tell us all the tragedies and the turmoil and the, all the bad things that's happening in the United States, but you just won't do nothing about it. Economy roared back faster than almost. Yeah, because of Congress. Like we don't know, but Martin, we're living it. At a hard time. Because of Congress. Because of the pandemic. And the only way to fix Congress is. Congress. <laughs> Beams that went into buildings because they were out. Factory was closed. The panic also disrupted the global supply chain. Factories close. When that happens, it takes longer to make goods and get them to the warehouses, to the stores, and go, prices go up. Look at cars last year. One third of all the inflation was because of automobile sales. There weren't enough semiconductors to make all the cars that people wanted to buy. And guess what? Prices of automobiles went way up, especially used vehicles as well. And so we have a choice. One way to fight inflation is to drive down wages and make Americans poorer. I think I have a better idea to fight inflation. Lower your costs, not your wages. Or we get a national or, minimum or, wage. Or you can um, do a, a tax, um, a temporary tax situation and push money into households, and then they will spend the money. Yep, that might be a good idea. 
in America. He already gave us a check. More goods okay. moving faster and cheaper in America. More jobs we can earn. No, but what you do is you create incentives instead of relying on foreign to the companies in America to put the money. Because, like, if the companies can verify that they spent the money through their payroll. <laughs> You trust these companies to verify. To do that? Honestly. Well, you got a whole lot of trust. If you make it. it, if you make it a tax shelter for the companies, wait a minute. To increase their payroll. Chanting USA. Why are they chanting USA? Increasing the productive capacity of our economy. Of our economy. Y'all, I call it do, chant Jamaica. a better America. Feeling some oh, kind of that's way to trade it. Close until get. He's been talking about Build Back Better with every way except saying Build Back Better. Build Back Better was just say it. Because he can't pass it. Right. Long term inflationary pressures. Why did we choose this? We should have chosen the times they stood up. No. Here's the plan. We've been passed out before we even got to this part. Not if you drink water. I already got to worry about it. I got to get up early in the morning. No one hang over. You know what, Biden? Even even if I was there and I do like you, I'm just not standing up on everybody that you say. And it's not you. I just don't want to. Virginia, I met a 13-year-old boy, the handsome young man standing up there, uh, Joshua Davis. He's 13? He's 13? He, he was about oh. seven. Oh. Y'all need to feed him. Hold, hold on. That's a small 13-year-old. Maybe I'm used to my 13 year old being taller. But that's a little boy. The pharmaceutical company. But drug companies charge families like Joshua and his dad up to 30 times that amount. I spoke with Joshua's mom. Imagine what it's like to look at your child who needs insulin to stay healthy and have no idea how in God's name you're going to be able to pay for it. Yeah, he ain't lying about that. But it does this one ain't cheap. Pretty sure it's about the same way as having to look at your child and having to feed them and have absolutely no way of how to do it. You expect yourself to be. Yeah. Something, something like that. Or not, not knowing how you can make sure they have hot water and uh, electricity. Yesterday was his birthday. Or he. Happy birthday, buddy. buddy. Or hair. That or boy rent. is 13. He looks seven. He literally looks seven. He looks seven, but... He <laughs> looks like he also is 50. No, but he's he got a little body. 13 year olds are like taller or something. <laughs> and why would you say guy. he looks like he's 50 also? <laughs> he looks like that little kid in kindergarten. You'd be like, come up here, Timmy and Reese. Let's let Medicare negotiate the price of prescription drugs. No, let's get Medicare for yeah, all. Let's see and Congress pass that. Let's do that. Y'all gonna call him. Nutty professor. There we go. Oh, she, well, they're she looking at each other like, I'm not voting for that. <laughs> yeah, they like, what <laughs> companies pay me too much? Nope. You, know, the, the, you know Democrats right now walking out and going, you know, that was a pretty speech. Well, I'm you not know that's what they're gonna say. He, he nailed it. But it was a pretty Nancy speech. Nancy is like, I'm not getting up this time. <laughs> Where are we in the program? Climate change. Let's provide. Is she following along now? She's reading notes. That's a Goku ain't gonna um, fix itself now. Somebody got to do it. That's how we used to do in church. You're like, where are we in the program? If you and go, you ain't never deeper than what you thought. Ooh, through. AOC, go ahead, AOC, do your thing, AOC. And she's sitting up in the stands. Yeah, she's a smart one. COVID's still going on. I'm gonna be up here. Yo, yo. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I hate to say she looks especially pretty tonight. I, that's all I'm saying though. She looks I mean, pretty. Dang, I, I'll, she, I'll give that to you. She does look pretty. She does look. I hate to go and look, but I'm like, yeah, she does look. Some, some, someplace, somewhere, Tucker Carlson is uh, having a moment. Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> yeah, he is obsessed in this moment. <laughs> he's gonna talk about it for three days just so he can look at him more. Isn't that a booty call? Oh my God, Tucker. First of all, nobody says that anymore, so you just learned the words. Number two, shut up, you horny little. Yeah, yeah, Tracy, you picked the right show to have this on. I think the next one, I'm going to do it on my show so I can say everything that I want to say. 
Hey, so let's move on till next year. Including millions of women who left the workforce during the pandemic because they couldn't afford childcare. To be able because to they still can't. They still can't. My plan doesn't stop there. It also includes home and long-term care, more affordable housing. He's saying everything about Build Back Better except for Build Back Better. Because Damn. he can't because pass I it. Think, I kind of think that he has to Nobody now switch to selling meal pieces instead of he's, one I got he's all of this the order to go. Look at uh, all of this. I got to go. Oh, he, and, and it's the midterm, yeah. His job is to sell the midterms. That's his job. My guess is if we took a secret ballot in this, and I hope everybody buys it because back system ain't fair. I'm telling y'all right now, y'all let the republic is in. Y'all can miss me with all y'all fucking and fighting and crying and everything else because all I'm going to do is stand here and nod my head and go whatever. Oh, he said wealthy Americans pay their fair share. There's your, there's hey, your Miss Warren. The love of my life. Hey, Miss Warren. Miss Warren. Go ahead, Miss Warren. Chris Coons and Tom Carper. I like you. Take that flower off. My distinguished jacket, yeah, I don't I like. like I don't like the flower. I like you. I like you though. I like you. Corporate America. But take that sport flower off your dress now. I ain't falling for that trick. I'm just saying. And I still want thirty-six. The Golden Girls lapel pin. That's not a good look. But <laughs> I love you, Miss Warren. Thank Thank you for being you. my friend. Boom, boom, boom. Got to go to back again. Zero in federal taxes. No <laughs> Golden girls. Not fair. That's why average age is sixty-five in this round. Tax rate for corporations. It should be sixty-five. What should be sixty-five? Corporation tax. It is sixty-five. Nope, it's thirty-two or twenty-five or one of them numbers. Thirty-two who? Thirty-two percent that they had the corporations pay. I think it's either twenty-five or thirty-two. It ain't high. First of all, this is my the take. average now, age of the house is thirty. No, no, no. The average taxes on corporations. Oh no, I'm talking about the average age. Average age is like 60, 70. They up there. Yeah, they're old. But what I was gonna say, as far as like, taxes, to me, you should really like lower the tax rates on just about everybody. Let's get and eliminate done. all the oh all the own loopholes. Well, the problem with the loophole thing is, is to the the <laughs> they need our they need money to go to the IRS, and they've all and the Republicans has already put a stop to that. No, I agree. But what I'm saying, look at this: if you have a um a tax rate of say 65 percent mm -hmm. but because of all the loopholes and write-offs and all that stuff your effective tax rate drops to like 12 yep why not just make it 25 percent flat out well then you're talking about a, a flat tax then you're talking about a flat tax which i'm not for I'm not saying a flat tax for everybody i'm talking about corporations mm -hmm. but then you got to eliminate the loophole that's that's my whole point. Oh. <laughs> we didn't hear that part. I didn't. Because oh, I did. Who said it started off? <laughs> but that way, I did. But no, but that way, your you tax rate is lower. Drink. You ain't drinking water. That yes, I am. That I was paying attention to what Biden was saying. Thank you. Oh, that's the first mistake. Oh, you're the only one. The He's not doing too bad. It's 943. He hasn't even the only he already late. cut the deficit by more than one trillion dollars in a single year. Lowering your cost also meant demanding more competition. That was Obama. You and him. But capitalism without competition. He gets to claim everything Obama did because he was right there with him. Capitalism without competition is exploitation. Let's 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 which, Are we absolutely sure that it wasn't his plan to begin with? And here exactly. we go with the standing ovation. Oh, no. Jim and then still the other is part standing. of it is... Oh, Jim, uh, 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 Jim Clement already stood up. That's it. That's, that's, that's He's like, forget right. this. You don't reach this quarter. Look at Mr. Clement. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting none of this. No, the funny thing about Mr. McConnell, look at him. He's not actually there. No. He's, that's his shell. And you're paying a lot more. And he'll. I wonder, I wonder if that ties older than he is. See what's happening with those. Mitch McConnell is eighty. Or eighty-one. 
Yeah. He looked like he's 95. Boom, Pete I'm sorry. I just, at this point in the game, I can't really be upset with anybody on the Democratic side at this moment. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I got to be, I got to be with Theos. For this ain't moment? No, ain't nothing, uh, well, other than Joe Manchin. Well, yeah. And Kristen Sinema, yeah. Yeah. And even, but, and even Kristen Sinema has voted for some of the for the Democrats on some okay. But other than Joe Manchin, no, nah, name me a Republican who have done absolutely anything for this country. He looked like okay, I gotta stay awake. I gotta stay awake. Like his head. God, I got a big head. Look at the size of his head. It's heavy. Woo. Let's get this over with. I can't keep this head. Yo, did you check out Shorty sitting in front of him with the dynasty hairdo? training and apprenticeships higher <laughs> on skills, not just their degrees. And see, every time, you, I gotta yeah, every time that you I'm say serious, something I like that, the thing so goes through my head. She goes to her, her hairdresser. Y'all minimum wage should be 25. Stop with this 15. Dude, 16, by the time you get the minimum wage to $15, it'll be $25 minimum to actually live. Comfortable. Oh, it's all and she's like, no, I ain't vote for that at all. Look at her shaking her head. No, she perp no, she purposely is not doing that. That she's that old. Secret community colleges. But you good. said community college was out of the bill back then. Which is it, Joe? See that once again, you're blaming Joe. Now I'm not saying he the one said it was gone, that not me. Joe. He said it. I'm going by his word. He can say all he wants, but until <sighs> that knucklehead, who's that guy, Chuck Schumer, More than two can control years. his group? Decision in our lives. Isn't it nice that we literally have a first lady that you can respect tired. again, though? Frustrated and exhausted. That is true. I do have a lot of people. I literally I, 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 I actually like Jill. I don't factor any of the first ladies into my equation anyway. You didn't have factor in Hillary when she was out there you doing didn't factor in Michelle. I was 12. <laughs> oh, well, was <laughs> you didn't factor in Michelle Obama. No, not really. Not for not for his job. I love Michelle because Michelle is just Michelle. Back to a no. But I like Jill for being Jill. Jill's cool. Yeah, I, and that's I see her in the same view. But I mean, that's not like neither one of them were important as far as they're, they're not. I mean, they're not important, but they are. Oh well, you talk about politics. No, none of them have. I yeah, mean, I mean, they don't have. The, the last person who actually may have had an effect on politics was Eleanor Roosevelt. Was no, Hillary Clinton? Clinton. No, Hillary Clinton. And Hillary, yeah, and Hillary. And, Na and Nancy Reagan. And Nancy, Nancy Reagan. Reagan. Mm -hmm. Oh, she is there. Y'all stop, stop putting Reagan down like that. Nancy ain't do nothing for that. Nancy, Nancy actually Reagan, was hiding and Reagan the fact was that the not man had as, lost his mind. As female as he made himself out to be. Reagan knew exactly what he was doing on every step that he did. Never will just accept and then get into the cut. Get in front of the camera and, <laughs> and we got the no Reagan knew exactly what he was doing every step. We have to stay on guard. That dude had a plan before he had a plan. As we move forward safely in my Come on, Joe. Take this home. Take us home, Joe. I like that title. We know how incredible. The gold tie, not his That's just if you're vaccinated. Look at them big old heavy pearls, Nancy Pelosi got on. Dang girl. You know they're real. Probably. The, now, be, the best tax dollars can pay for. Vaccines authorized for oh, that's that insider trading money I right know there. Insider trading. Yeah. None. We'll be ready with plenty of vaccines if and when they do. We're all ready. Well, we, we are also ready. Yeah, right. Viral treatments. If you get COVID-19, the Pfizer pill reduces your chances of ending up in the hospital by 90%. I've ordered more pills than anyone in the world has. And we Pfizer keep them and won't get them to countries that need them. Yeah, month. we order more of them, taking less of them, and won't help nobody else with them. Yeah, we're going to just keep it for no reason. So people can get tested at a pharmacy. We'll stamp it with Made in America and pretend like it never happened. On the spot at no cost. We need Medicaid for all. Stop with the foolishness. It's He wore his mask. He was like, screw all yeah. Some other vulnerability. We have treatments and free high quality masks. We're leaving no one behind. Might not be a better name. I got my COVID test in the mail, though. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but I did get it in the mail. 
George. Yeah, if you think you're too sick, you take the test. Like right now, yes. both my brother and my sister-in-law have it. I'm announcing you can order. A daughter, my brother-in-law, my son, my granddaughter, and my grandson had it. More test. Second, no, I should him down. Didn't get it, but my I need somebody my, to pat him down. Thank you. He got a gun. He look like he he's just checking his weapon. He's just like, okay, I got it. Uh oh. Maybe months or years. And if Congress presides the funds we need, we'll have. We got a video of him making a speech to probably a whole bunch of white supremacists. I can't. Even the white supremacists didn't want to hear him talk. But I can't. I can't promise you. We'll do everything within our power to be ready if it does. Sure. How many points you got, bro? Well, well, take it slow, bud. Take it slow now. Stop all that coughing. The tools we need. It's time for America to get back to work and fill our great downtowns again. With people, people working uh -uh. at home. I'm gonna keep my mask. I don't know what number one about. thing keeping Biden safe that is that his vice president is Kamala. The vast majority of federal workers. Well, once again, work in person. Got a point there. Open. You sure got a point. I ain't going to even. You ever want to keep your white president safe, get you a black vice president. And here we go with the standing up the, the planet. The next two people in succession are women. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Go> ahead. <laughs> Do your worst. 75% of adult Americans fully vaccinated. Hospitalization. Nancy looked now like she just that person on the church program, Most like, okay, you know, what part the choir doing? She's checking the strip. Move forward safely. We achieved this because we provided free vaccines. Somebody let her know we have not yet gotten to the tithes and offering part. <laughs> this <cost> <laughs> <laughs> no, just like no, girls. Girl. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, what's wrong with these flowers? It's flowers, people. What, what is this? Stop it. American. Those are the Ukraine colors. Yeah, but that flower is just her granddaughter made that in arts and crafts this morning. Stop that. You ain't got to do that. Vaccinating the world. She knows you love her. 475 million vaccine doses to 112 countries, more than any nation. Oh, Anna, I got to say, I love the color scheme in your room. Oh, thank you. I didn't even know I loved, liked the scheme until I saw it. Yellow and blue is. Hey. They certain blue. I'm talking right. about Anna's wall and ceiling. What you talking about? <laughs> He's talking about oh, Anna's you talking about the you talking about the real Anna. I thought you talking about the Anna that was there. Oh no! <laughs> Worst of all, much. What longer. is that in the background, Anna? Let's use this moment to reset. Um. So stop looking at COVID as a partisan divide. Not sure what you can see, honestly, but um. Are you talking about more of a black. Oh, Maxine! No, I'm sorry, Maxine. Maxine, sorry. No, no, girl, no. Oh, no. I love you, Maxine, but like you're having a stroke, baby. Somebody check on Maxine. That really, promptly. I'm sorry, what would you say, Anna? No. These people being no, rude. What did no. you say, Anna? Oh, Jim Clayburn's no. at the chair. He's up. Anna, you better speak quickly because these people are acting crazy. I realize that I just, I'm not exactly sure what you are able to see. That picture um, behind it, it me. Looks like a, it actually looked like the signals, um, or like a crest. Yeah. Black? Okay. Yeah. It's actually a, a, a friend painted a picture of, it's based on Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. It's the two trees. They're responding to an island. Lord of the Rings. Okay. 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 Officer Moore was I'm more of a Smeagol man myself. Uh, Damn, Scott. Both Dominican American. Oh, man, please. Uh, tell. Don't never I trust a black man with no there. facial hair. I wish I was up there. I spoke with their he family. know he's not going to get up there if he stayed Republican. We we're forever in debt for their sacrifice. He got himself his position, which is all those Dominican little token Negroes want. Safety of every community deserves. All 12 of them. Like some of you have been around for a while. It's 12 of them? I thought it was like six. A long time. I know it works. I don't know. Investigating crime prevention. And you know they always have that one black dude. Now they didn't him. show him already. He just looked like, shut I up. I think they lost the um the black guy they had in the house. Or choose between safety and equal. Yeah, the black guy that the Republican in the house, I thought he lost his race. Because he was in like Idaho or some craziness. That's why the Justice Department. Idaho voted a black dude in. Yeah. It was, it was an Idaho or Iowa. Yeah, it wasn't so in the end. It was the Mormon. It started with an I. You all for 
It, it must have been Iowa. I can't see Idaho vote no black person. Can Clyburn is like, shut up. I'm going to come up here and punch you. <laughs> I'll clap for you. That's it. I see you, Clyburn. You see me? I see you. No, don't do that. They see us now. <laughs> Trusted messengers breaking the cycle of violence. And no, they don't. No, they don't. They really don't. All right, so there are a total of two black Republicans. Is to fund the police. Kim Scott. Don't no, defund the police. Defund them. Even when you defund the police, you're still funding them. Abolish them. And, and, and the funny thing about it is I never even said defund the police because I thought it was going to be unrealistic anyway. I just sat there and just say, I still don't see why you gave them enough funding to have a tank that's rolling down Main Street. They got military. Like, what, they what scared of us too. What's going to happen? They got military style weapons. Because they're, they're scared of the scared poor people. Can't be even, the, even if you was doing the looting and the rioting and everything, uh, what, what you gonna do in a tank? Blow somebody up? Should anyone oh, I know right. what you Byron Donalds is a Republican in Florida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is she yeah. going cheerleading? Burgess Owens, Republican Utah. 100 rounds. Not, I don't know that one. That's who we were thinking about, the Utah guy. Repeal the liability. Oh, that was your Iowa. Like was your the only and he and he just lost. He still um, showed as he's still showing as a active the member on here. Oh, okay. Laws don't infringe on the Second Amendment. They save lives. Lauren Burber is here. Right. But that's it. I don't like anything he had to say. Total just, Black like, Americans in Congress fifty eight. Total state. Republicans two. But that's the house. Wait a minute, he's got the nerve to be talking about voting rights. What if you don't list him Scott? They don't list him Scott? I'm in the, I'm looking at Black Americans, 117th Congress. But Tim Scott ain't on here. So this is just House members. Oh, they don't um, like him. We only know there's wait, wait, one wait, wait, Black wait, wait, Republican in the Senate, 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 and that's Scott. He's the only one. No, because yeah, he's the only black Republican. Yeah, the black yeah. Republican. But yeah. Tim Scott is a senator. Yeah, he's a yeah, senator. Yeah, that's why I said there's only one black senator Justice that's a Republican yeah. in the Senate. So this list I'm looking at is just re um, the House. The House, yeah. It doesn't say that, but Did it's he just say stand up? Joe, don't tell nobody stand up. He don't want to stand up. Oh, boy, stop being so humble. Uh, Act the goofy. Stop it. Stop it. Stop oh, it. Oh, just me? Just stop me? It. Oh. Oh, I feel so special. <laughs> my heart. As now I can go sell my books. I've nominated circuit court. He is talking about, see, and I was, I was right. He was going to talk about, he's going to talk about her. He could pack the courts, but he won't do it. Of course not. Well, he needs Congress to do that. Do you really think Manchin will do that? No, I don't. But he well, could. remember the slippery slope thing, where every time a Democrat packed the, uh, pack the courts, Republicans can pack it right again. That's fine. Let them. So that's that's the problem. You got to do what needs to be done. Okay. And deal with the consequences further out. That's liberty and justice. Yeah, because you, you worried get about a whole slew of stuff passed. You could bitch. Yeah, you you so worried about what the Republicans would do in response that oh, you don't just, do anything. So you're and literally way, doing what the Republicans want. Wait a minute, Ted Cruz stood up for something. I don't. I really, honestly, don't even care too much about the 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 um Supreme Court in a way. It's these lower courts that's in these states that are really Man, tearing please. us up to begin with. Order. The Supreme Court is the one that re that destroys your voting rights. Sure did. Destroy women's choice. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The Supreme Court destroyed what? The Texas voting rights? No, it didn't, even make, it didn't even make it to the no, Supreme but Court. Marlin, it's yeah. the courts in Texas that's doing that. And yeah, but the Florida. courts in but Marlin, the Wait courts in Texas. We got another flower. Her, the courts in Texas flower. can only do that. 
because the federal Supreme Court broke the Voting Rights Act. Central America. Yep, they, they, they took it apart. So it was like, Once okay. they did that, that's when Texas, Georgia, and everybody else started doing what they're doing. I was, I was the first one. North Carolina was first in line, I thought. It was Iowa, then North Carolina, then Texas, like, oh. then Atlanta. I mean, then Georgia. They're like, oh, I don't have to pre clear this anymore? Tell the black people to stay home. Why don't y'all stop standing, stop standing up or just stay standing? Oh, what, Joe, come on, dude. Let's wrap this up now. I know I'm like, shut up, because I got to watch the State of the Union at me to respond. Let's get it done once and for all. Who's delivering the Republican response? I have no idea. Uh, wow, it was said. And it was it is somebody from Iowa. Is the last time they used Tim Scott. No, heck no, no, no. I would have remembered that name. So it's not Journey Ernst. You want to go forward, not backwards. She keeps shaking her head at everything by the woman on the dirt. She's doing all she can is to stay awake. She's looking like, yeah, I'm going to never vote for a woman's right to choose. I will not. Let's finally get the bipartisan equality act. Bipartisan. Oh yeah, bipartisan. So on the Democratic side, Representative Rashida Tlaib. So you can. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, but she's from the Democrat. Who's gonna do the Republican? It ain't Marjorie Taylor Greene, which everybody was rumored about. It yes. definitely ain't her. <laughs> oh, they, they know they not going to put her up. They crazy, the, but they ain't that dang on crazy. Better, yeah. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. There you go. Governor. Yep. Okay. Oh. Wow. Mm. I signed okay. 80 bipartisan bills in the law. They reached down bipartisan. in the bench. He said bipartisan oh, again. That's all I got left. I'm going to finish it. Looks in common hate crime, reforming military justice, and will soon be strengthening the Violence Against Women Act that I heard <laughs> three decades ago. And never seen innovation. Is that just a fancy um, ashtray that's sitting on that counter? It looks like one of those um, soup holder things. Like one of those, you know, you put bourbon in it or something. First, that's what I thought. Epidemic. Oh, okay. God. It does look like crazy, you put like bourbon or something that you, do, that you use for communion. Why Nancy got to talk every time they stand up? Go ahead, Good Amy. God, go, go ahead. Take that dress off. Oh, my jeez. Who care about the dress? I'm talking about AOC. Do your oh thing. Oh, my Amy. gracious. He talking about the gold dress. Oh, she looked like she got the golden ticket. She very look like the golden girl. I got the golden ticket. You know, you should know you're not alone. Well, my sunshine, my only sunshine. Willy Wonka going to get her. 23 million Americans in recovery. Second, let's take on mental health, especially among our children. Ooh, she got caught in the wind Ooh. tunnel. Turns up down. A, you don't hurt a lot of you don't hurt a lot of Republicans' heart with that statement. Let's check mental health. I urge every parent. Yeah, you know, unless you're going to do something about access to medical care, mental health is like nice to say. It's a nice statement. Not to be a tutor or a mentor. Children were also struggling before the pandemic. Bullying, violence. You're worried about tutoring and mentoring, which I'm passionate about. But right now, they're losing teachers. As Francis Haugen, who is here tonight with us, has shown we must hold social media platforms accountable for the national Social media is the least of your problems, bro. Yeah. Because you have like literally just... found the most boring outfit ever. At least she didn't wear some gold thing. She wore something simple. She looks like she's a school teacher. She's a school teacher. What's she supposed to wear? That's the best thing she probably got. Thank okay. you. Y'all ain't going to say it. I can say it. Please go get some sun. Targeted advertising <laughs> to children. People are coming out of the winter, man. Give them some time. And let's get all American. Nancy keeps pushing her hip and it's agitating. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm waiting on Kamala to just tell Nancy shut up. I've been waiting on Biden to just one time say, I'm not going to keep you much longer, but. 
In closing. I just came by to tell you. <laughs> In closing. In closing. That agenda is support our veterans. Our veterans are the backbone and the spine of this country. They're the best. <laughs> Relax, Nancy. <laughs> yeah. You almost took a trip there. Yep. <laughs> Calm down, Nancy. <laughs> care for those and their family when they come home. Oh, you ain't no spring chicken no more. Relax. This is a job training, housing, and now helping lower- I'm so tired of them using veterans as slogans. Is this and props. Yep. Don't treat them like squat when they get finished like we were. The majority of our homeless people on the streets are veterans. I need a president to actually call Congress on Congress. He's looking like shut up. That's lurch. These burn pictures. Look at Herman Monster. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. No, that was full lurch right there, man. Many that really was. Best da, 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 da. in the world. Never the same. Headaches, numbness, dizziness. Is he going to come with upset stomach diarrhea? Or is he going to just keep naming stuff? I know. Yams, potatoes, greens, lean. Huh? You name it. Oh, <laughs> my son, Major Bobite. He love, he been crying all day. Burn pit that he lived near, that his cooch was near in Iraq and earlier than that, in Kosovo, was the cause of his brain cancer and disease of so many other troops. But this is the only time that, I believe it was when he's talking about man, We need to stop talking. What the heck is he talking about now? His son. Talking about veterans. veterans. Oh, oh, veterans. Oh, but his son right, was a veteran. Right, so, right. Right. First class, Heath mm. Robinson. Mm. You lying. Soldier. That's what her face say right there. <laughs> mm. You know you lying. <laughs> Station nearby. She's like that comedian on Saturday Night Live. Up, that you just Kamala. Danielle is here with us tonight. They love us. Yeah. She's looking at. Oh, you're the good person. Sorry. You did the like <laughs> Oops. Sorry. The she show was looking like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, she signed. Thank you. She cute. Yeah. Huh? Not that that matters. Yeah. exposure to burn pits. I don't pat me on no back, shake my hand. I've been sitting next to you for an hour. <laughs> you for real? <laughs> you ain't even asked for my name. <laughs> One of the best stories I have to tell is that when I was young, I cut away to her how to say to thank you with sign language. So she went promptly over to a deaf couple and flipped them off. Whoa. <laughs> wow. They cracked up. They totally knew what she was trying for because they saw me back with her. I'm announcing so, Because, like, it's not this, right? Isn't that shape? Isn't that like... Don't do the profanity from your chin. Let's all oh, come on, Tracy. Like really. I'm yeah, just that's saying. Yeah, that's flicking somebody off, right? When it comes that's off your chin. Flicking them off, yep. I'm just saying. Wait a minute. So, Tracy, I can't curse by sign language either? Nope. <laughs> Ooh. You just saved me. Yep, I know. Girl. Anna, see, she don't know my end rules, so I, you know, I let her slide. You, you, just, saved, you just saved me a good four or five um, YouTube videos then, because I was about to really learn a lot. <laughs> I'm about to go into a whole time. Okay, lane. he's at the back end of his book thing that he's got. This is hey, you know the funny thing about it, as much as that's the ugliest dress I've ever seen in my life. That's um, a good color, though. Um, Mm -hmm. and as long as this she's wearing, feels, at the very least you can actually understand what Biden is saying even if you could go out and say you don't agree with what he's saying or all the, the policies that we see that he tried and failed at doing at, for now that's at the a very least you understand right what Biden is saying when Trump was talking incoherency all over the place what? but here's the difference though with Biden, you can understand what he's saying, but you feel nothing. With Trump, there's no telling what he's saying, but you feel him. I don't, yeah. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't want to show. And that's the problem that Trump that's the gave difference. everybody was everything had to be a reality TV episode. 
because Trump understands that most people are intellectually lazy. Safer to be able to wage war more unless they go to the fifth page of Google. We'll have a they want the show to drive breakthroughs in cancer, Alzheimer's, and diabetes, and more. A unity agenda for the nation. We can do these things. Unity. Our power. Look at Joe Biden. Like, nope. yep. Give me some like, nope. like My fellow Americans. I'm not doing none of that. And the funny thing about it is, yeah. do not think. Everybody that's watching this video right now, do not think that the enemy in here really came here to listen to his speech to set up plans to stop him. Because it's, it's, it's one thing to know what his agenda is. It's another thing for him to try to figure out exactly how he's going to achieve it. So they always got to put a plan together on how to stop it. All these people got his speech in advance. They just have and Mitt Romney, players. Mitt Romney, people keep talking about him like being the last Republican with some kind of standards, but he has not truly bucked the system either. No, no, no. And, and, and uh, I was telling Tracy before you came over was I saw another person that was talking to you and he just simply asked the question. If well, you had a choice for president, who would you vote Mitt Romney or Joe Mack? And I picked Mitt Romney. Oh, between those two. Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna like his, everything that he says, and he and chances are I'm probably gonna like. But I know he's I doing it for. I see the future that's within he's the last to do stuff on principles, purposes, even though his Mario principles are different from mine. Y'all know that Mitch McConnell has the same expression on his face. I've told you, he's not there. He's not there. No. He, he, that dude was on the ninth Dude. hole at a golf course. He is not there. I've come to report on the state of the nation. Well, he's like any evil demon possessed creature. You can park your, your human body and leave. And then when you're ready, you come back and you re inhabit the body. I think he's about to end, y'all. I, I think he's heading towards it. Come on now. Joe, turn that corner. Oh. Yep, I think he's about to end it. Come on. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. I dare, you to, I dare you. I dare you to say that once. I dare you. Go get him. Go get who? Who we going to get? We can stop sharing this queen. He's doing it. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all made that entertaining. <sighs> Anybody, Anna, what are your thoughts? What do you think about what Joe had to say? Or President Biden, don't want to be disrespectful. It's a lot of nothing. It's a lot of, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Um, a lot of the statistics and stuff he was talking about don't hit most of us, so okay. Okay, Theus, you next. For, for me, it's, it's a lot like Anna just said. I mean, now personally, I like what I think he's trying to sell. Um, there's always the inside game that we're not aware of, like how much is he really trying to push versus what he's working with his opposition to block you know but still i think if if what he wanted to do was given a chance to be done then that'd be a good thing but you have a hundred percent opposition from the republicans and you have enough people on the democratic party to block you on that side too and unfortunately everybody's blaming biden for not getting things done when the ones who are not getting things done are blocking him too. Sure. So, Marlin, nice speech, but uh, Marlon. They will never threaten anything they're not threatened by. So let me just flip that statement. They do not want Biden to look good. 
So, of course, they're going to do... The plan is good. The plan is solid. It will do what it says it does. So why would you think the Republicans would help him pass it? Why would you think the Republicans would do anything to help Joe Biden look good in the public eye? That speech, as pretty as it was, is to sell you on the midterms. Mm-hmm. He knows it's not going to pass the long-term ratifications until, again, like me and Theo's been saying, until you can pack the House in the Senate with more re- Democrats to the point where Manchin doesn't make a freak, Manchin and cinema just don't make a freaking difference. But we keep constantly want to complain and moan and groan and pout and everything else. I've been telling you people for the longest time, it's a lot easier to pick yourself off the ground than dig yourself out of a hole. And the Republicans are aimed and ready to put you in the ground. They're like, not playing with you anymore. They have had it with us. They're not going to play when they get in there. And all you're going to do is have very beautiful, passionate speaking points. Because if y'all let this happen, that's exactly all you're going to have is passionate TV shows. Yep. And I'm going to look at you and nod my head and go, whatever. Because we yeah. literally need net two more Senate positions. We actually need two. four, but okay. I- you need net two. Because net two will break you to 50 and eliminate Mansion and Cinema. You see what I mean? So like, yes, it'd be greater to have more, but you literally just need to increase it by two. And what I ask people who are constantly ragging the Democratic Party I'm not saying the complaints and the criticisms aren't real or valid. I'm saying based on your actions and your words and your activities, what do you expect to get from it? And and the funny thing about it is if you're so upset about what the Democrats are doing, you have a very short minded because do you remember what the Republicans did? Do anybody, y'all forget what the Republicans really caused a freaking amount of a lot of damage. And, and everybody's upset because the Democrats are not a bunch of microwaves where they can only get, you have, I, I said this when Obama was in office too, and everybody was complaining about Obama. It is so funny that you want Obama in one year to fix something that somebody did in eight. Yep. That is so unrealistic and that is so unfair. So it's the same thing right now. You won't, they should do this. They should do that. It ain't like they not doing it. It ain't like they ain't trying. But you putting all the emphasis on it as if they can roll through it and you know who the enemy is. And unfortunately, and I'll tell you this truthfully because I didn't know either. Unfortunately, we realized that Joe Manchin and Kristen Cinema is the enemy when they should have been our friend. And yeah. apparently we got a few more people that's... that's cowardly enough that's hiding behind them too because they're in it yeah. too but we need to pack it so much to the point where they can't hide no more and we can get stuff done or we can have another two years maybe six because if you get another republican president in there but i'm just being nice and say two years of having somebody walking the republicans going there and really cause a lot of damage, not because it's best for their country. It ain't really because it's best for their constituents. It is pure revenge. Yep. They yep. are going to go out of their way yep. to hurt yep. us. Yep, not to cut you off, Marlon, but I want to get some last thoughts in here before we um, go. Of course, y'all, y'all had the, the peanut gallery showed up today. Um, for this and I want you to give me your best and be brief Marlon first the second Anna and then I'll do my end my end part last best moment whether it was a funny moment and then worst moment Marlon you first I already said what the worst moment was 
Did get you off, get get off President Biden and put the blame? No, I mean in Biden. terms of what happened at the um address. Oh, what the worst moment is. Actually, seeing the two most evil individuals side by side, uh, Cruz and uh, Lizzie Graham standing there chuckling it up. Okay, what was the best? Anna was there. It was the coolest <laughs> dog moment I ever had I in my life. That was, that was you didn't fantastic. have to take this. Anna, Anna was there. Anna's magic. <laughs> Anna is the Scarlet Witch. Anna could be in two places at the exact same time. She's Wanda. The See, coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. You go next to his worst moment. <sighs> mm. Worst moment is probably the gold aluminum foil lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being mad superficial here because the speech <laughs> like didn't matter to me. So. Right. The gold aluminum foil lady was the worst. The and of course, AOC was the best. So the pop popcorn lady. Yeah. I thought you was going to say the nerdy professor got so bad. I thought what he said. No, because he was just a dude. Oh, no. He was just a dude. He was just a dude. But AOC, AOC came to kill. And the aluminum foil lady, I guess she's trying to do her part for uh, clean energy. I don't know what she was doing, but it was its not a good look. <laughs> Anna, what is your worst moment of the address? Well, because I can't say what Theus just said. Um, I would honestly say my worst moment was all of it. My best moment was all of it. it it's... <laughs> It's still a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, okay. Best moment. I think I know what you're going to say, but go Did ahead. You know, I, you know, I, the whole thing um, to me was um, I, I don't have a lot to say. I don't have a lot to say positive about that. And I, I am very shocked, Anna. I am very shocked. Yeah, because I was like, you always know, want something moment. positive. Well, here, okay, so. You you, you was there. <laughs> you could not come up with a better moment? And you got a, sta a standing ovation. What? Don't and, let them. And, and, and on top of that, if you needed inside suns a suntan, Golden Girl was right there. <laughs> I don't understand what the problem was. Well, y'all, so you know what? You see what I got to put up with, Anna, don't you? Okay, so here's my um, worst part was the 8,500 standing ovations they got on my, like, set your behinds down. You don't got to stand up on everything. And I'm saying everything, not everything, but everything that he says. Best part, Joe Biden finally finished. I was like, if you go another 10 minutes, <laughs> <laughs> really throw something at the screen so guys i want to thank you all for coming and i told you marlon this was going to be a lot of fun um and i know you don't have a podcast so theus tell us quickly where they can find where our audience can find you at uh website complex simple man.com marlon Saturday Night Vibes every saturday at 9 p.m radical truth to power every sunday at Saturday Night Vibe every Saturday at 9 p.m. Radical Truth to Power every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I may have a guest host uh, this Sunday because apparently Anna can be in two places at the same time. So I'm going to ask her to use her special powers to be right beside me and, uh, and commenting from her home. Okay, everyone. So, of course, the whole... Yeah. The entire podcast will be available for the Patreon exclusively. So that means to be a Patreon, you'll, if you're not a Patreon, you'll see this in sections on YouTube. But if you want to be a Patreon, you'll have to visit my website at tracymediallc.com. I want to thank you all. And remember what I said in my live show, I got a big old surprise in May that's coming. And I think it's going to be epic. We'll see you then. Have a great evening, everybody.